Welcome back guys, I have received many a request for making a video on how they are synthesizing microarrays because it's a, it's a kind of uh, always a question that how? It's a very small slide and small groups and 6500 DNAs are incorporated so how they make that right so I'm going to find a very small video about how to do that and I'm going to talk about the overview of the process though not any detail about it so let's begin with the simple process of how they produce microarray how they synthesize arrays now you all probably know what array is but still I'm telling microarray is a small DNA chip which is having a cDNA or single stranded DNA attached to each of those round or each of the small grooves that are created in the middle of the slide and uh, what we do we use microarray to check the expression of different tissue at different time durations we can do this it's limitless guys so we can use we can make a cDNA and just add them to see whether they are hybridizing used different colored probes then we uh, put it into the analyzer which is using uh, different laser rays to detect the different type of fluorescence and by detecting them they give us results of the e expression of tissues because you know all the tissue of our body have same number of chromosomes same type of chromosomes same type of genes the only thing that they differ is the expression of those genes with time and that's why our brain cells works differently our liver cells works completely different our digestive cells I mean the uh, our skin cells work differently then okay so let's begin with the microarray synthesis process now for this what they use they use a simple slide light light we all know it's a very very simple slide like this and in that slide in the middle of that slide small groove like structure is there and it is also divided into small groove portions like that right so this is a kind of slide now if you zoom into each small squares of it that square actually consists of six more small squares if you look at those six squares so let us draw those square so in this square uh, actually so I need to draw more so let's draw yes So let's say this is the uh, this is a screen of what we get. Now what what they actually do in this case they produce this group. Now after producing this group, two important thing you need to know for production of microarray. One thing is blocking agent, blocking agent or blocker, and second thing is a mask, the array mask. Now what are these two things? First is the blocking agent. It's a chemical agent once added to a group that group is not bound uh, that group will not bound with any type of nucleotide sequences because what we need to do we need to construct a DNA or different nucleotide sequence into these groups we are incorporating different nucleotides into these groups so that it forms a nucleotide chain right and to produce nucleotide chain we need to consecutively add different nucleotides but remember if there is a blocking agent present in any group that group will not bind with any any kind of uh, nucleotide that's the first thing which is very very important now we can knock off this uh, blocking agent using lasers right so we can knock it off knock off using laser remember okay and second thing is the mask now mask is something which will cover this whole grooves and it will uh, have some gaps right for example let's say this is a 36 well group now the the mask will be covering everything but it should have some gaps some some square left so the mask will have also have 36 squares but all of the squares are having a coated film right but among those 36 pairs there should be some gaps suppose uh, suppose this this and this 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 three a box will have a gap in that film so we have a complete cover of a film but these three gaps are empty so there are no films in these three regions or in this three box so except for this three box rest of the region will be masked now once the thing is masked it will no longer bind with any nucleotide sequence right it will no longer bind with any nucleotide sequence so if we mask this whole uh, square except for these three squares 
then what will happen if we add nucleotide nucleotide will bind with these three squares but not the rest of the squares because rest of the regions are masked except for this three place because this three place are empty in that mask so once you understand these two concepts that blocking agent and mask now let's begin now let's say in the very first place what we do we just add blocker to all so they just first add blocker so let's so let's talk about it let's let's say the blocker is this black color thing so let's add the blocker blocker is added to every region every single box so we are ensuring that not nucleotide cannot bind with any region here right so blocker is added after adding blocker so this first step blocker added to all boxes right now once it is done the second thing we want to do is to add a mask right then we add a mask addition of mask now once we put the mask in the mask is going to cover everything so here comes the mask and I'm I'm uh, drawing it larger, but actually the mask size is same with the box, uh, the large box. So it is done. Mark adi marks addition is mask addition is done. Now let's say the mask is having now this mask is the most important point of all this microarray synthesis because every time once we add the mask, the mask definitely will have some gap in it. Now in this first mask, let's say that there is a gap in this square, in this square, and in this square this three region the mask is having a gap rest of the point the mask is filled right so the mask is filled except for these three points so but but remember though it is free these three points but blocker is added right so once we put masks so remember blocker is added to all of them then we put mask now masking let us draw masking with this red color so red mean there is masking right So masking is also there, right? Except for this, this, and let's say this. So these three, except for this three region, all the other squares are being masked, right? So what we've done yet, we add blocker to all, then you put a mask. Mask is always masking all the regions except for these three sections, but still they are having blockers, right? So if we add nucleotide, will they be added? The answer is no, because though mask is free, the, though there is no mask in these three boxes, but there are blockers. So what we need to do, we need to exclude the blockers. So what we use, we use laser to exclude it out. So let's say we use laser and it will exclude out this three section. After excluding it out, suppose we need to add nucleotides. Now nucleotides will be added one at a time, not all of them together. So let's first add adenine in the place. So third important thing is here addition of nucleotides. Let's add the nucleotide adenine in that place. So adenine is flooded through this region. So as these regions are free, in this case adenine will be placed. Here comes adenine. Adenines are placed. I don't know whether you can see this or not because it's too much small. I should have done it larger. Anyways, so adenine is added in these three places. Okay. And in this case, all of the nucleotides that we add, it always contains a mask. I uh, sorry, a, a blocking agent. So whenever we add a nucleotide, the nucleotide are designed in such a way that the nucleotide is always added with one blocking agent whatever nucleotide we use. So here, once we add adenine, it will also contain one blocking agent with it. Now we rinse the slide. Now the second case, we suppose add, adding, uh, say, thymine, we are adding now, with the blocking agent. Now, these three places are blocked, right? Now, we need to tr change. Now, each time, once we add this uh, nucleotide sequence, we change mask. So adding nucleotide sequence is done, change of mask, a new mask will be placed. Now the new mark, the mask that we'll be placing here, remember these things are having those blocking agents. So now this time we place a new mask. Now again, so fourth place, 
new mask again so in this new mask suppose it is having gap in these two sections right so there are no mask in these two regions though the blocking agent is there because from the previous time always the blocking agent is present so mask is changed now these two regions are having a gap then what we do we remove blocker using using laser so we are removing this blocker so removal of blocker is there so removal of blocker blocker removal is there once we remove the blocker then what we'll do we will add the nucleotide which is t so we'll add t along with remember the blocking agent so now t will be placed in these sections so here it comes t with a blocker t with a blocker done again what we'll do we change the mask we place a new mask right having different gaps then we'll add another nucleotide sequence so in this way we continue these steps and finally what we'll get we get we, we are doing these steps until and unless we get 20 to 25 nucleotides added in each of these small groups once we get 20 to 25 nucleotide added in these small groups we are done with it but remember this is a very very micro thing very very tiny that even 6500 genes can fit into a middle region of a glass slide that's the beauty of bio biochips or biological chip technology nowadays the nanotechnology and the biology working together right so that's how they produce microarrays and once they produce this microarrays then what we can do we can extract the dna out of it we can make cdna of it we can extract the rna make the cdna of it because to check the expression of a particular gene we need to check for the total amount of rna transcript that is present inside the cell or to check for the transcript tome that is present inside the cell once we take it out we make a cdna of it and then we we allow the cdna to bind with this single stranded dna then we get our results right so this is the overview this is the overview of how they produce this but actually this is far more complicated i made it simplified for you and i hope that's helpful guys thank you